What's up, everybody? Uh, going to RenFest this weekend. Um, this will be Pirate Weekend, uh, and we're camping. So I just wanted to show you some of the items I have uh, while getting ready for camping and got to get all this stuff packed into my car. So I'm just going to show you a little, some of the stuff I wanted to bring and what I have. So we'll see. All right. So I just wanted to show you some of the stuff I have. We're going to start with the first bin. This is just sleeping mats uh, that we're going to be using. Um, I have another sleeping mat right there. Um, don't know if we're going to use them like that or who's going to use them or what, but I have plenty. I got uh, like three foam ones and then there's one like air self-inflating one right there. Um, hopefully that one's cool. Uh, I just picked that one up uh, the other day, um, but I might be adding probably like in this little cavity here some uh, tissue and, and like paper towels and stuff like that. All right, so this bin has a little hyper tough work light for like an area light. I'm going to try to use this and see how that works. It's like all adjustable and whatnot. So I thought that was like pretty cool. Uh, sorry for the clicks, probably sounds terrible. Um, but yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. So we're gonna see if that works as an area light and it's rechargeable. That's why I picked this one up. I didn't wanna carry batteries. So this is a rechargeable one. Um, bug repellent, you know, gotta keep the bugs away. Uh, got two uh, flashlights, just handheld flashlights. These are like teles uh, telescopic um, and they hook on your belt loop, so that's pretty cool. Um, haven't tested them yet. Uh, I've had this one for a while. This is just like a lantern. Uh, so this is pretty good by uh, Ozark Trails. Uh, I like this one a lot. It has like three different modes of lighting. This one takes batteries too. Most of these stuff takes batteries that I have. Um, besides this, I just picked this up and I'm gonna try it out, see how long it lasts. Um, this is my headlamp. Love my headlamp. It's my probably my favorite light to have, the headlamp. Um, just picked this one up too. It's got it off of eBay. I mean, not eBay. Uh, just put, picked this one up too, got it off of uh, Amazon. So we're gonna test this one out. Uh, it's like a tent light. And I'm probably gonna be using this as a tent light too, my little lantern here. Uh, hopefully this area light works well. So that's like literally all the lighting I have, unless uh, my other friends bring some more stuff for lighting. We have a little football, throw it around if you want to. And then uh, I went and picked up a little foldable shovel. This would be cool. I, haven't had, I didn't have one of those yet. Uh, we got a sleeping bag here, white fang. Um, and here's a Coleman sleeping bag. This is my sleeping bag. I really like this one. Um, and I don't really know what this is. I think this is like cap catch the air and you make like a, uh, like a pillow or something out of it. I have, I've not used that yet. I think someone else put that in there. I, that I don't, I haven't used it. So I guess we'll find out if we use it on the trip. <sighs> Camping this weekend, but that's literally all that's in this one lighting some repellent maybe throw some extra stuff in here if i think about it maybe throw some batteries in here i got i got a whole thing of batteries that i actually do need to place in here so i'll probably put all the batteries and stuff in here it's either gonna go in this one or this one right here uh it got enough room um all right so that's that one we got the cooler we got another cooler we got our table foldable table just got a lawn chair here. Um, this is the third bin. So the third bin has. I need to put a need to get a bag because this is the tent. This is the uh, four person tent that I have. Uh, got it off of Facebook Marketplace. I just haven't bought a bag for it. This is the uh, cover for it to go on top. Um, there's another two person tent down there. Um, and I also bought uh, from Walmart, uh, the tent poles are down there too, but I got these sh uh, uh, tarps to go underneath since I didn't have tarps. And I just went out and bought another tarp today because I am uh, going to be using another tent just in case. Um, 
but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for that one. It's just the uh, tent equipment basically all in there. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And it might rain this weekend, possibly. Hopefully it doesn't rain that bad, but we got the tarps, so hopefully that helps. Um, but push comes to shove, we would just sleep in our uh, cars if we need to, if it's too wet or too raining too hard. Uh, but we're going to try to sleep in the tents. I like tent sleeping. Um, I got a five gallon bucket for like washing our hands from Home Depot and stuff like that. Um, and washing dishes if we need to. Uh, so over here, we just got wood. Um, I just got assortments of wood in here, basically. Um, this right here is going to come with us. Uh, this is the foldable like grill top I bought. Um, I don't have any other way of storing it besides inside of bags upon bags, really. Um, this is just some firewood I picked up from Home Depot. Um, some hickory wood I picked up from Home Depot. Um, there's some more down there. Can't see it, but I got like more more of the wood down there. Um, we got some three. Duraflame, three hour burning logs if we don't want to mess with the firewood and things like that. Um, but yeah, so this bag of firewood, some hickory, and just the logs. I have like all the options open to us. I'm going to bring this and bring the little grill to go on the fire pit that I have. Um, I don't have it out right now, but I will pull it out and I will show you. All right, I pulled out the fire pit. This is the fire pit I picked up from Walmart. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive, really. It's a pr pretty cheap fire pit, um, but it comes with everything you kind of need. You got the little stick so you can lift the, uh, the what is the spark guard or something like that. Um, has a little grill inside uh, to make sure the ambers don't uh, build up or something like that. I don't really know what it does. I haven't actually looked up what all this stuff does. I know this, the top part is to keep the ambers from escaping or something like that. It came with a little cover too. So if uh, it's outside still, I can cover it so it protects it from the weather. Um, used it once, so we're going to be using it again. It's all one unit. This is from Walmart. Um, this is all I need for right now. We're just doing a little, little camping this weekend. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, that's the fire pit that we're going to use. Um, I'm gonna bring some plastic bags that I have saved just in case we need to like to throw some stuff away. I got a whole thing of plastic bags in there. Um, that's pretty much it for everything. Um, besides some little knickknacks and stuff like some, got some duct tape, picked up some duct tape, and then uh, picked up some uh, aluminum foil just for some food if we want to cook it, or and some storage bags just to put some stuff in if we need to, and. I brought some like bread and some hot dogs just in case. Uh, we're gonna usually use the fire pit and throw it on. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Now I just gotta load all of this up into my car and we'll be set for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm planning on going there and setting up shop and meeting all my friends there. So this should be fun. Uh, I'm going to try something new for the coolers as well. Uh, I saw this idea online where you just freeze your bottles of water and then put them in there uh, for ice. And then you have drinking water uh, when they unthaw and your all your food or whatever you're taking, if it's food related, is not waterlogged. Now, there might be some water because of condensation and maybe one might burst or something like that. Um, but that should be good. I'm looking forward to trying that um, and we'll see how that goes. And I think that is about it for everything here. Uh, yeah, I did get some uh, also for the fire pit. I did get some uh, uh, welders gloves for the fire pit uh, so I could touch the stuff and won't burn myself. So I found that uh, little thing online. Um, I don't know where my welders gloves are. They might be in this box somewhere. Uh, but yeah. I've already used it once, so they work well. Don't get burned. The, the welding gloves did get burned, but that it's not a big deal. Well, this is it for the video. Um, for all the stuff I'm taking so far, besides little little things I'm going to pick up and get some trash bags too and take those. Um, 
But that should be it. I do have a costume that will be in another video. Um, and I'll show y'all that. Uh, maybe I'll show you that in this video, actually. So I'll show y'all that, my costume and stuff. And I'll pack all this up and we'll be ready to go for her this weekend. Alright, here we are. Um, I'm going to show you the outfit, just a little sneak peek. I'm not going to unravel everything because i got to pack it up uh, for it to go. Um, but that's the belt. Hold on, let me turn my light on. That would help you see. There we go. And it's Pirate Weekend, so these are both my belts I will be wearing um, to go around like my stomach area and waist area. And then we have some uh, jewelry to go with uh, my pirate outfit. We got some rings, some bracelets. Um, there is a like necklace in here. We decided to all get the same necklace um, because we're gonna go for like this is our symbol of our pirate crew. We don't have a pirate crew name yet. Uh, I guess we'll brainstorm when we get there and go over what we could be called, basically. Uh, but we'll figure that out. Hopefully we get a name and then we can build up to something. Um, what else? Drinking horn. I bought this drinking horn a while ago. Haven't been able to use it or go to RenFest with it. Um, so definitely going to RenFest with this now. I was so excited when I bought it. Always wanted a drinking horn. This will be attached to one of the belts, probably this one. Um, and then we have just the, we're going for red bandana and a red sash for one the waist. Um, what else? We have our white shirt, got a white shirt. Um, we have a, our black pants. And we have a black uh, waistcoat, I think pirates call it or something like that, or vest or whatever you want to call it, um, to go over our white shirt. Shout out to my sister. She helped me finish this because we uh, we pretty much uh, DIY'd some of these, like the belts, uh, DIY'd, uh, um, and then the rings, just found some rings and some bracelets to go with it. Um, didn't buy any like specific pirate rings or anything like that just some stuff that was laying around that we can build a pirate uh, costume out of uh, besides the pants shirt and uh, bandana and scarf I mean not scarf but a uh, sash that was all bought from like Amazon and different places um, but yeah thanks to my sister for helping me out with this and help me out sort out the whole outfit uh, we got some boots here that I'm going to be wearing. I got a cover for some boots I already had. Like that. Yet. They look okay. These boots, I... Uh, these are pretty much going to be my Renfest boots. I got to clean them. Pretty dirty. Um, I used them for my Dothraki uh, costume when we went to Renfest. Um, because it was Barbarian Weekend. So I dressed up as a Dothrakian. I think that's how you say it. Or a Dothraki. Whatever and uh use these for that and don't really wear them so they're my rinfest boots pretty much so they went perfect with this cover for pirates so i thought that was pretty cool um and i'm i mean i got my other one right here so i have two just don't have one um but also i got this little bag so we can carry our stuff or carry my stuff at least in it uh to take into rinfest um, I think you can take a bottle of water, can't take no alcohol or like food or anything. Uh, you can take baby food and stuff in there, but uh, we don't have any babies coming with us. Um, so taking the camera, some vlogs for vlogging and stuff like that around, uh, taking pictures of everyone and stuff like that. Uh, should be a good time. Uh, but I like this because it's like a weatherproof type material. It's like an outside bag. It is supposed to rain. I'm also taking my jacket and umbrella, so hopefully... That will cover everything. Um, the boots, like I said, are Renfest boots, so they're going to get dirty and muddy, possibly if it rains hard. Uh, but I'm just going to have to clean them up because I have yet to clean these. But um, but I'm extra pair of socks and stuff like that are going to be taken as well, just in case it's like super disgusting. Um, but yeah, that should cover everything. Hopefully this outfit comes together well. Um, I think it does. Uh, but I'll be taking pictures and vlogging some videos, so 
with the magic of video editing, you will see uh, us there and uh, all of our outfits, or at least my outfit. And uh, that is pretty much it for my pirate outfit. This is just a sneak peek. Uh, I'll get it where everything is on and everything is out. Just didn't want to do that because I got to pick it up. But uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. All right, see you guys. All right, so Pirate Weekend here with Ryan. We at Renfest. Uh, we're gonna show you our setup. Um, my outfit, if you can see. Pretty good. Excellent. Um, yeah, so I'll show you all the campsite and then we're gonna head in for a little bit and check it out. So we got a tent set up over here. Don't mind my mess. And then we got the fire pit, a little table set up with some water. So we got another tent set up here. Uh, we're probably gonna put another tent set up probably around here or something. Maybe change it around a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much our setup for Renfest Pirate Weekend. Well, finally made it in to Renfest. There's some food and drinks over there. to get uh, some more of our friends um, it's gonna be kind of hot today I'm not gonna lie definitely gonna be hot it's uh, supposed to be like 89 degrees so damn near 90 uh, we got partially cloudy so that's nice at least uh, but it's definitely gonna be hot so uh, we gotta stay hydrated or not stay hydrated and just drink uh, a lot of alcohol so we'll see what happens um, but yeah hey Nick what's up so we just got done with uh, the escape room. Uh, we almost made it, but we failed at the end. So that sucks. I feel like it wasn't enough time. Yeah. Only 20 minutes? If we had, if we had 30 minutes, we would have got, got it. We would have definitely got it. Because I would have looked at those boards harder and been like, oh. Yeah. OK. Because, yeah, we would definitely made it. Um, but secured the turkey leg. Um, it, we got rained on. We're wet. But uh, it's, it's stopped raining so far. So hopefully it doesn't come back. Lots of people. Yeah, tons of people. Uh, it's a great time, great time. It's fun. Well, so, would you do the escape room again? Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. Would you? Yeah, I would definitely. Now, maybe we want to. Uh, I mean, we could do the other, um, the other ones, I guess, because they, they had another airy bottle one or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. um, 
but the pirate one and the king's one, that was the one that was booked. So, I mean, I guess we had to get early online and book those. But I recommend the escape room. It was pretty fun. Um, as you can hear, the thunder crackling. I was say, was that thunder? Yeah. Um, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, we're enjoying. I got some. Uh, I don't know if I'm sure. Got some. Got some mead. Um, pretty tasty. Um, I've never tasted it something like that before, so it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah. And how are you liking it so far? So far, it's been raining, but it feels really nice out, so I'm having a good time. It definitely did cool off. <laughs> Thank you. So how are you liking it so far, Ron? This is your first time. It's great. It's definitely fun. Um, still waiting on see some really weird stuff, but um, <laughs> I'm having a great time. That's good. It's good to hear. Yeah. Would y'all recommend the escape room again? Mm. I said yes. But. It was creative. I would do it again. But we're going to do a different one, definitely. And be able to ask like for hints. Sooner? A, a little bit sooner. Yeah. Don't wait till the last minute to ask for all the hints. All right, yeah. That makes sense. Oh. But yeah. It wasn't bad. How many drinks are you in? All right, I lost count. You lost what count?
Germany stands no chance. Now. I don't know. Yeah. Rodrigo tried taking it out of France. Oh, yeah, it's going to come back to France. liked it if you wanted to know.
not winning no awards. So, it is the end of RenFest, uh, for us anyway. Um, we're not going to come back for the fire show, um, but it was a fun time. Uh, we saw some people propose after the uh, pirate show, so that was really fun. Um, and then we saw the end of the jousting. That was cool too. Uh, Spain won. That's, that's who we were rooting for. So, glad they did. If I don't fall. Um, what did you think, Ryan? How, how was it? It was hella. It was pretty fun. Pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. You would come back? Good food. Would yeah, you I'll definitely back? do it. You do I'll it definitely again? come back, yeah. Would you tell your friends to come? Oh, yeah. Well, at least I'll tell my weird friends to come. <laughs> my non weird friends, they can stay at home. Hey, normal is so bland. I know. I know that my entire life. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we're walking back to camp now. And, uh. Hey! <laughs> Did y'all have fun? Hey, my boy, film it, film it. You got a microphone <laughs> and everything. What are you filming for? YouTube, we, TikTok, which one? I guess YouTube. We just, we just film in for Remember, baby. Like, there you go. Life well, too short. You got a real mic and everything. That's the yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, I might as well just get the whole setup. Get the setup. whole setup. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I got the truck. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> you too. All right, yeah. We're going back to the campsite. And we're going to set up tents and whatnot and uh, drink and eat. And uh, have some more fun. I'll talk to some people tonight. Uh, if I'm able to film, I will film. And we'll see. All right, so we're pretty much at the end of the video. Uh, these are just some pictures I wanted to show. Um, some really great pictures that Mina and Ryan took. Uh, shout out to Ryan for bringing his camera. Um, shout out to Nick for recording the videos, some of the videos while I was like, shooting my bow and stuff like that. So it was a great time. Uh, thanks for all my friends coming out. It was a great time hanging with y'all and everything. Uh, thanks uh, Jordan Nickerson for helping me edit this video. He did most of the work on editing this video. I just put in a few things and changed some stuff and added some stuff but he did a great job on it um, and also we didn't get to record uh, during camping because we were just so tired and we just wanted to chill but all we did was use the fire pit, use the grate I had to grill some hot dogs on it and ate some, drank some, listened to some music and uh, we went to the bonfire and after the bonfire stuff we just walked around to the different clans and uh, saw what they were doing. Everybody was friendly, open. It was a really great time. If you ever think about camping, I recommend going camping uh, because every time we go camping, we've been doing it for a few years now, it's a good time. It, it's a really fun time. Everybody's pretty much nice. I haven't seen any like bad people really. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some stuff that goes on, but I don't know. Uh, I'm only talking to really nice people there. But yeah, um, thanks for uh, staying to the video if you stay to the end. Can't wait to do it. Uh, next year if i don't do it again this year uh but yeah i recommend going uh to the at least rent fest and i recommend doing camping too if you're interested in that and yeah that's the end of this video and thanks everybody for staying and watching if you got this far all right see ya